Good morning, Junior Six. How are you today? Let's start with lesson two, which is called the law of levers. Law of levers. You have learned in the previous lesson that any lever is a rigid bar. Is a what? Is a rigid bar rotates around fixed point. Rotates around fixed point called fulcrum. And fulcrum represents or uh, had the symbol O and is affected by an effort force affected by effort force which had the symbol of F and a resistance force and the resistance force represented by symbol of R. Okay, so any lever is rigid bar rotates around fixed point called fulcrum affected by effort force and the resistance force. Like here, any lever has what? Any lever has effort force and resistance force and fulcrum and also has effort arm and resistance arm. Okay? According to this type of lever, according to this type of lever, sometimes the effort force is smaller than the resistance force or effort force more than resistance force or both of them are equal to the effort force is equal to the resistance force. The mathematical equation that explains the relation between effort force and the resistance force is called the law of levers. So the law of levers means the mathematical equation that explains the relation between forces, two forces, resistance and effort force. The resistance force and effort force. Okay, so any lever has what has effort force, has resistance force, has fulcrum, and has effort arm and resistance arm. So, what is the meaning of effort arm or resist resistance arm? The effort force arm means it's the distance between the effort force and fulcrum, like this. So, the effort arm means it's the distance. The distance between what? Between effort force and fulcrum. But the resistance arm means what? Means it's the distance between the resistance force and fulcrum. So, any lever, also any lever has what? Has effort force and effort arm. Has fulcrum has resistance force and resistance arm. And the effort arm means what? Effort arm means the distance between the effort force and fulcrum. But the resistance arm means it's the distance between the resistance force and fulcrum. Okay? So, the Law of levers, it's the mathematical equations between the effort force and the, the resistance force. And it states that the effort force times its arm equal the resistance force times its arm. So the law of levers states that what? That the effort force times its arm equal the resistance force times its arm. You have to keep in mind the law of levers as your name. Effort force times its arm equal to the resistance force times its arm. Again, effort force times its arm equal to resistance force times its arm. And the effort force or the the effort the effort force arm means effort force arm means the distance between effort force and fulcrum. And the resistance arm means what? Means the distance between the resistance force and fulcrum. Okay? 
When the effort force arm and the resistance arm are equal, when the effort force arm and the resistance arm are equal, the distance between effort force and fulcrum are equal to the distance between the resistance force and the fulcrum. When this distance is equal to this distance, so the effort force is equal to the resistance force. So the resist the effort force equal to according to according to the law of levers. So the effort force is equal to the resistance force. And this lever doesn't conserve effort. Doesn't conserve or doesn't save effort. Because the effort force equal to the resistance force. So it doesn't save effort. When the force arm or the effort force arm is longer than or larger than the resistance arm, so the effort force is smaller than the resistance force according to the law of levers. So when, again, when the force arm, when the force arm here the force arm the distance between the effort force and the fulcrum when this distance is larger or longer than the resistance arm the distance between the res uh, resistance force and fulcrum so the effort force must be smaller than the resistance force effort force is smaller than the resistance force so this lever cons conserves the effort or save effort when the effort arm larger than the resistance arm or when the effort force is smaller than the resistance force when the force arm is shorter than the resistance arm so the effort force must be larger than the resistance force. So this lever doesn't conserve or doesn't save the effort. Okay? So we have some notes you have to keep in mind to solve any problems. The effort force and the resistance force, the effort force and the resistance force are measured in Newton. Effort force and the resistance force measured in Newton. And Force arm and resistance arm are measured in meter or centimeter. Both of them are right. And the factors that determine the value of force and resistance are the force arm and resistance arm. Okay? Now, let's solve this evaluation. Number one. Choose number one. When the effort force is what? The resistance force, so this lever conserves effort. The only type of lever that is conserves effort when the effort force is smaller than the resistance force. When the effort force is smaller than the, eff the resistance force. Or when the effort arm larger than the resistance arm. Okay, number two, the distance between the effort force and the fulcrum is called what? Yes, the distance between effort force and fulcrum means the effort arm. Excellent. Number three, when the effort force is what? The resistance force. So this lever doesn't conserve effort. Is equal to or larger than or A and B? Yes, A and B. The answer will be A and B. Yes, when the effort force is equal to the resistance force, so this lever is, doesn't conserve water. Or when the effort force is larger than the, the resistance force, so this lever doesn't also conserve the effort. Okay? Now, let's solve this problem. It's a very simple problem. Number one, the force whose equal equals 
a force whose equal uh, whose value equals 50 newton affects a lever of the second class lever okay affects second class lever that its force arm equal 20 centimeter calculate the resistance force where its resistance arm is 5 centimeter so we will put the rule effort force times its arm equal resistance force times its arm so 50 times 20 equals resistance force times 5 so the resistance force equal what equal 50 times 20 divided 5 so it equal 200 newton because the resistance force and effort force measured in newton so the resistance force equal 200 newton